before we jump into the video. I just want to mention, if you would like to support this channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash Christina where you get a- Why am I leaning on the table like this? <laughs> where you receive all of my videos and podcasts early, you also receive the secret podcast that goes out every single Tuesday, and you get to join my Facebook group, and you can potentially do one-on-one -on -one phone calls with me, if you're a patron, at patreon.com slash Christina. Okay, enjoy the video! Hi guys, what's up? Hello! Welcome back to my channel! This is your corner on the internet, welcome! Nice to have you, nice to chat with you, nice to see you again on this lovely, beautiful, wonderful day of human existence because aren't we lucky to be here? Did you know that the odds of becoming a human are 400 trillion to one? Just fun fact, you're super lucky to be here. Just a thought. <laughs> Anyways, hi, hello, welcome. If you're new to this channel, my name is Christy and I make videos about living a more well, loving and caring life, both for yourself, for the planet, and for the animals on it. Not gonna lie, there are several things that since going low waste that I've seen circul circulating the internet, like several DIYs and things, and I'm like, there's no way, no way that that would ever work. Just no way. But like, they also spark my curiosity like a little tiny bit, and I'm just kind of curious about it, but just haven't put the time into making any of them. So I was thinking, maybe we could start a series called, <laughs> Will It Work? because I'm gonna use myself as a guinea pig and we're gonna test some DIYs in the zero waste realm. Today we're gonna to start off with like a super, super easy one because I just figured I am terrible at DIYs, so we're gonna start off easy with mouthwash. To be fair, there are a few zero waste DIYs that I have tried that I did like, but I just haven't been very adventurous with it. Like things like making my own highlighter, there's no way in hell that's gonna work, but I'm gonna try and make it anyways. Things like car fresheners and toilet bowl cleaners and just like, there's no way that the natural remedy of that could work. There's just no way, you know? So welcome to episode number one of Will It Work? And we're gonna see if some of these things actually work because sometimes I'm surprised and sometimes I have a feeling I'm not gonna be surprised at all. Is that a cynical and negative view? Maybe, but I'm really hoping I'll be surprised. So anyways, we're gonna make some mouthwash and I also figured I would show you guys what I've been using just for regular tooth care at the same time, like what I use for toothpaste. Because I've tried a couple of different things. I actually did used to make my own zero waste toothpaste, which the recipe is on this channel somewhere, but I kind of got to a point where I was like, fed up with the whole DIY thing and kind of just wanted to buy toothpaste. Like after like a year of me using it, I kind of just, wanted to purchase one, so that's what I've been doing. So I'll share with you guys first what I do for like my toothpaste and rest of my oral care routine before we get into the mouthwash. But before I do that, I do just wanna quickly mention that this video is sponsored by Audible, so thank you so much to the kind humans at Audible. I will get to talking about them a little bit towards the end of the video, but thank you super, super much, super much. Thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring this video because without them, well, I would not have a roof over my head and they make it possible for me to make videos, so. All right, so this thing right here is my toothbrush, I guess. Before we do the DIY, I can zoom in a little bit. Hi. This is my toothbrush. I use a bamboo toothbrush from the company Brush With Bamboo. Brush With Bamboo is incredible. They're the original bamboo toothbrush company, and it's like a home family company, and they're great, and they're what I've been using since day one. The bristles are still made of like a plant-based plastic, so that is the only waste that comes out of this toothbrush. If I'm being completely honest though, I do still have a electric toothbrush. That is not anything to write home about, but I just still own it. I didn't use this for like the first year and a half, maybe two years into my journey. I still have, I think like two or three heads on my toothbrush that I'm gonna use. I kind of use these interchangeably. Like whenever I go stay at like my boyfriend's or something, I bring this with me. Whenever I go camping, which I've been doing a fair amount of this summer, which has been so fun and nice and lovely and just nice to get outside, honestly. If you haven't been camping in a while, this is me pushing you to go do it soon because it's super fun. Or just go for a hike on a day. A nice little walk somewhere. It doesn't even have to be up a mountain. Just get outside. There's more to life than what's on the internet. But yeah, so I kind of use these interchangeably right now. Honestly, before I started using this one again, I didn't have any issues. So personally, what works for me is, is this. Once I run out of heads for this, I will keep using these. But also I do want to acknowledge that everyone's different and like maybe some people do have issues with cavities and stuff. So I don't know of any electric toothbrushes that I could recommend that have a more sustainable 
mission. I'm sure that there's companies out there that are like making them from something cool. So if you have anything, feel free to leave it in the comments of this video for other people to learn about. I do also have a tongue scraper. I kind of forget to use this thing if I'm completely honest, but this is just a metal tongue scraper to clean the bacteria off of your tongue. It's an Ayurvedic practice. I do think that this is a great little addition to your hygiene routine if you don't have one, but also not super necessary, but is nice to kind of like scrape off that extra layer of gunk on your tongue. And then for toothpaste, so you might remember in my bathroom tour video, I mentioned this David's toothpaste. It's in a metal tube. That's why it looks super funny. I did get some comments being like, what the heck did you do to that tube? Why does it look so funny? It is metal, so it like shapes kind of funny. It gets like really crinkly. But a couple weeks ago, I don't know if you remember the podcast episode I did with my friend Moji. I've been working with her like a decent amount. Both of us work from our computers. We work from home. So whenever I'm out, sometimes I run into her and we end up like having laptop club together, which is super fun. It's really nice to not feel like you're alone because sometimes doing YouTube is very lonely. And anyways, I was sitting at work one day and she showed up and she brought me some tooth tabs. These are from a company called Unpaste and I get both of these and I believe you can get the brush with bamboo as well at my friend's store Eco Collective in Ballard. So that's where I pick them up. They also have an online store you can order directly from them. It's a female founded company and the owners are my good friends and they're all awesome and incredible and it's definitely a store that I would recommend to support. I'm biased definitely because they're my friends but also they're, they're great. I have seen these all over the internet and wanted to try little tooth tabs for so long and how they work is it's literally just like, it's almost like a mint and that's what kind of bothers me about it to be completely honest, which I'll get to in a second, but it's just this little puck that you put in your mouth and you squish with your teeth and then once you add water or like your saliva and you brush it around it turns into a toothpaste so you're eliminating all the water weight that you would have when you're shipping a tube and you're also eliminating the tube so far i love these and i love the idea of tooth like tab tooth unpaste chew things the only thing i don't like about them is they do remind me of a mint so that might bother some people i think that's why moji didn't like them because she had tried these a couple times and then she was like hey do you want them and i was like sure but i would think that that would be what would bother some people because i've almost swallowed it multiple times you kind of get used to it after a while and i actually think that i'm going to start using these instead of this in the future my one thing is i'm going to take it out of this bag and maybe put it in like a little jar that i have lying around because it's super annoying to take them out of this bag but obviously they're not meant to stay in here. So I feel like I'm gonna try a couple different of these like tooth tab, solid toothpaste, mint things. <laughs> I'm gonna try a bunch of them and I'll let you know which brand I like the best. This one is called Unpaste. Something that I will note about this little baggie too with this specific brand is it does feel like it's almost lined with something like waxy or something, but it does say that it's home compostable paper. So that's cool. So as of right now, I'm using Unpaste tabs and I'm gonna try out a couple different brands and let you know which ones that I like the best. Okay, so that's what I use all up in here and I'd like to add some mouthwash to my routine. So that's what we're gonna do as of right now. Will it work? I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna make it and I'm gonna put it in my mouth and swish it all around and see if it works. Because I have a feeling it's gonna taste disgusting. Here goes nothing. <laughs> what I'm using for my jar is this old kombucha jar. <laughs> Upcycling at its finest. I'm also gonna note, I'm obviously not a dentist. This is a recipe that I found online. And you know what, I didn't run it by my dentist. I know when I made the toothpaste recipe like a year ago, that one I did actually ask my dentist and he was like super on board with it and cool. I did like that toothpaste, but it honestly was just like a pain in the ass to make regularly. It's just easier to buy something. But this recipe is super easy. There's like four ingredients and it looks like it takes all of two seconds. So this is something that I would consider making, especially because as I'm learning more and more I think obviously you want to avoid like the the plastic bottle of a mouthwash you want to avoid things that are tested on animals but as I'm learning more and more about like just things in general like mouthwashes are full of all kinds of crazy stuff and I know that some of them even like will affect your gut bacteria and your microbiome and as I'm learning more about that that's something that is really important to me and so this supposedly <laughs> is a better option I'm gonna look at the recipe on my computer here just make sure I'm doing it right. I will say this is like the simplest recipe that I found. There was two other ones. One of them mentioned adding xylitol, which I think is a sweetener, but also acts as like some sort of like antibacterial kind of thing, but it will make it sweeter. So if like the baking soda is something that tastes too strong for you, 
that's something that you could consider adding. I just don't own any. And then another thing that I saw in one of the recipes, which I'll link that recipe in the description box below as well. I'll link this one that I'm making and the other one. The other recipe that I saw included trace minerals, which is like these drops and essentially like they put minerals back into your teeth or something. I'm not super sure, but again, I didn't own any of those. So we're really just working with what we got here. So I have half a cup of filtered water. I don't have distilled water. So I'm really just making like a small batch. So hopefully it won't go bad in a short period of time. And I'm probably not even gonna store this like in a fridge or anything. I'm just gonna keep it on my bathroom counter. I've heard it should be okay. Two teaspoons of baking soda, peppermint essential oil and tea tree essential oil. Anytime that I'm putting essential oils in my mouth, I get really nervous about it. Make sure you're spitting them out because essential oils aren't technically like food grade. You're not supposed to swallow them. I've heard some pretty crazy stories I'm assuming every essential oil is incredibly different when it comes to swallowing essential oils. So I don't recommend it just because I'm gonna be cautious here and not recommend that on the internet. But since it's a mouthwash, we'll be spitting them out. So I feel like it's okay. And I basically, I'm just gonna put all of them together. So I already owned this peppermint oil, but the reason that I bought this specific tea tree oil is because I made sure, again, because I'm afraid of putting like essential oils in and around my mouth, I made sure that it was like organic and 100% pure tea tree oil as well. Oh well, I'm using a chopstick to mix this up. <laughs> so we work with what we've got. But I think that's like pretty much it. You just pour it in here and I've heard that you need to shake it before you use it every time because the baking soda is gonna separate. Oh no, and it's kind of stuck in this. I should probably get a spoon, shouldn't I? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> no man left behind. I do believe that that's it. And now we're gonna test it and see, will this work? I really have these like visions of making this series into like a game show of like, will this work? <laughs> This is why I can't take myself seriously. Actually, one thing, before we do that, I do wanna give a huge shout out to Audible for sponsoring this video. If you're not aware of what Audible is, it's basically a platform that has the largest selection of audiobooks on the entire planet, which is absolutely incredible. Absorbing knowledge from authors is one of the most powerful things that you can do in this world. I highly recommend popping your head into Cal Newport's Digital Minimalism. That's a title that I've really been loving lately. Everything by Cal is absolutely incredible and I love listening to his knowledge. Or possibly if you're just getting into zero waste, you can listen to Katherine Kellogg's new book, 101 Ways to Go Zero Waste, or even the almighty queen, Bea Johnson's Zero Waste Home is another great place and resource to learn more about living a zero waste lifestyle. The way Audible works essentially is that you join with a small membership fee every single month. And with that, you get one free audiobook and two free Audible originals, which the Audible original thing kind of sounded odd to me at first when I first heard about it. And then I looked more into it and realized that essentially it's a huge selection of audiobooks that are exclusive to Audible only. So basically every month you do get three free audiobooks with your membership. And again, Audible has an unmatched selection. I think one of the best things that we ever did when we moved into this apartment was we didn't get a TV, so I'm never distracted. And whenever I do want some sort of like inspiration or entertainment in my life, I listen to an audiobook or a podcast instead. And it's made a world of difference in just like how I feel in my everyday life as of late. I'm not saying that you can't get distracted with any form of media or entertainment, but I just feel like I'm doing something a little bit more intentional with my time and my life, I guess. From now until the end of July, Audible is having a promotion where if you're a Prime member, you can get it for $4.95 a month for the first three months that you join. And then after that, it's $14.95 a month. So essentially with the promotion, you're getting three months for the price of one, which is pretty cool, pretty great deal. I never had to mention that when you are a member, you do get exclusive discounts and stuff within the selection of audiobooks on Audible. And you get a discount on all audiobooks when you purchase them as well, if you wanna purchase above and beyond the ones that you get with your membership every month. You do get to keep the audiobooks too, and if you don't enjoy one, they have a money back guarantee. So if you didn't enjoy it, you send it back and you pick a new one. So if you do wanna try Audible, you can go to audible.com slash Sedona, or you can text Sedona to 500, 500 and you can get right started. Okay, let's test this bad boy. Alas, we have traveled to my very messy bathroom that hopefully you can't tell because none of the mess is in frame. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, I'm gonna shake it up. Do a good old swish. Okay, it's got a taste. It's almost like because of the baking soda, it's like salty, but honestly not bad. Like I think I could get used to that. I feel like it's like kind of earthy tasting too, but also minty and refreshing. It's just like a little bit salty. 
but honestly not in a bad way like not not overly salty I'm into it it's good I'll let you guys know I'll like do an update on how I feel about it in a while from now when I do the update with the the two tab thing I forgot to mention that the reason I use those essential oils is because supposedly both tea tree and peppermint have antibacterial properties so that helps I can't really remember what baking soda does for you but it's in literally every tooth product even the ones in stores so it does something good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Will It Work? If you have anything that you want me to test out DIY wise, let me know. We're gonna give it a go. We're gonna try the complicated things. I'm open to making makeup, skincare, car items, clothing items, literally anything that you can imagine. I'm here for it. Let's test it out. And hopefully we will be shocked by the simple sustainable swaps that we can make super easily at home, especially for people who don't have access to fancy zero waste products or perhaps they're too expensive. I'm so down for trying out all these options and seeing if they really work. Of course, don't forget that if you wanna try Audible, you can go to audible.com slash Sedona or you can text Sedona to 500-500 to give it a go. And as always, you can listen to my podcast, sign up for my email newsletter, follow me on Instagram, or support this channel via Patreon where you get access to all of my videos early, you get access to my Facebook group, all my podcasts early, and of course, the secret podcast that goes out every single Tuesday. You can find that at patreon.com slash Christina. Once again, it feels so good to be back. I'm sorry I took that really long time off in June slash July. It was a crazy time and I'm pumped to be here, pumped to experience this life with you guys. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being here. I love you all so, so much. Remember to stay happy, humble, and forever compassionate. Bye guys. Oh, I can't quite reach it. <laughs> oh no. Huh.